Germany has updated the list of military aid transferred to Ukraine. It includes 10 Leopard 1A5 tanks, 34 RQ-35 Hydron unmanned aerial vehicles, 20 Vector unmanned aerial vehicles, 1 Engineering Vehicle 2A1 Docks, 4 Demoning Machines Wysent 1MC, 1 Bram Bergepanzer 2A RV, 1 Bieber Bridge Paver, 16 Mercedes-Benz Zetros Tankers. There are small arms and ammunition. It includes, 20 MG3 machine guns for Leopard tanks, etc., 111 County Route 308 rifles, 80 High Precision HLR 338 rifles, 540 Malawian Quachas 556 assault rifles, 8,500 155mm shells, 1.75 million cartridges for firearms. Other includes, 2 mine plows, 400 Falk lighting systems. Initially a hesitant partner, Berlin has become Ukraine's second largest military donor after the US, although German Chancellor Olaf Scholz is still reluctant to supply some key capabilities, namely Taurus long-range missiles. Berlin plans to up its military aid to Ukraine by another 3.8 billion euros in 2024, Reuters reported on May 21, citing its unnamed source. The Economist had previously stated that the Czech Republic secured at least 800,000 shells, and the Netherlands, Denmark, Germany, and Canada agreed to allocate funds to help pay. On its part, Berlin revealed that it would be providing Kiev with 180,000 artillery shells in the second batch of military aid. Overall, Germany would be contributing 40% of the military initiative to Ukraine. Russia is recruiting ethnic Germans for fighting in Ukraine. Russia has launched a propaganda campaign aimed at recruiting Russian Germans into its army. This is reported by The Telegraph. The publication refers to organizations that represent the interests of ethnic Germans in Russia. In recent months, they have begun to promote the war among their target audience, paying particular attention to attracting young people to the ranks of the army. It is noted that this fact is alarming and potentially embarrassing for Berlin, as Russia is actually using German culture against Ukraine. At the same time, about 400,000 ethnic Germans may live in the Russian Federation, who were persecuted during the USSR and are now marginalized by the Kremlin, the Telegraph said. The Telegraph has seen propaganda materials from the Russian-German house in Tomsk, which urges ethnic Germans to donate to the Russian army and attend free pro-war concerts. Also, the Russian-German house in Novosibirsk held summits in support of the invasion of Ukraine and young people were massively urged to enroll in the Wagner PMC. At the same time, the propaganda materials were first discovered by a community of Germans from Ukrainian Zaporizhia who called on their Russian colleagues to conduct a campaign against the invasion. The community hopes that the German government will take action against the use of its language and culture in military propaganda. In the summer of 2023, it became known that residents of Nepal who came to Russia to study were being recruited for the war against Ukraine. The main argument for making such a decision was money. In December, Nepal issued an official statement calling on Moscow to stop recruiting its citizens for the war and to return the bodies of those who had already died. Group of US congressmen call on Pentagon to allow Ukraine to attack targets in Russia. The US House of Representatives Intelligence Committee issued an appeal from both parties to Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin to authorize Ukraine to attack targets in Russia and to expand Ukrainian F-16 fighter training. According to House Intelligence Committee Chairman Michael Turner, Ukraine should be permitted to strike critical targets in Russia under specific conditions. Lawmakers feel Ukrainians are unable to properly defend themselves due to the Biden administration's strategy, so it must be changed. Ukrainian officials have expressed grave concerns, stating that the situation is worse than ever. The United States should authorize Ukraine to use weapons capable of striking targets within Russia under certain circumstances, train additional Ukrainian F-16 pilots, and bolster Ukraine's air defense systems, Turner said. The letter signed by 13 congressmen on the 21st of May reads, Our Ukrainian allies are requesting permission to use certain weapons provided by the United States to conduct operations on strategic targets 
states inside Russian and Russian-controlled territory, it is essential the Biden administration allows Ukraine's military leaders an ability to conduct a full spectrum of operations necessary to respond to Russia's unprovoked attack on their sovereign land. There remains a critical need for a substantial number of trained pilots to operate these aircraft as the F-16 fighter jets become available to Ukraine. Graduating 12 Ukrainian pilots is simply insufficient. Ukraine is at war and slots for Ukraine must be prioritized over other foreign countries. Lawmakers also point out that Kyiv is asking for at least seven additional Patriot systems to protect large urban areas. We ask that you work with us to expedite resources as our friends in Ukraine continue to defend their territory against Russia's brutal assault and aggression. Several Democratic representatives signed the letter, including Jim Himes, Brendan Boyle, Andre Carson and Jason Crow.